In chemistry, a nonmetal, or nonmetal, is a chemical element that mostly lacks metallic attributes. Physically, nonmetals tend to have relatively low melting and boiling points, and densities, are mostly brittle if solid, and are usually poor conductors of heat and electricity. Chemically, they tend to have relatively high ionization energy, electron affinity, and electronegativity values, and gain or share electrons when they react with other elements or compounds. Seventeen elements are generally classified as nonmetals, most are gases hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, chlorine, argon, krypton, xenon and radon, one is a liquid, bromine, and a few are solids carbon, phosphorus, sulfur, selenium, and iodine. Metalloids such as boron, silicon and germanium are sometimes counted as nonmetals. The nonmetals are divided into two categories reflecting their relative propensity to form chemical compounds namely reactive nonmetals and noble gases. The reactive nonmetals vary in nonmetallic character. The less electronegative of them, such as carbon and sulfur, mostly have weak to moderately strong nonmetallic properties and tend to form covalent compounds with metals. The more electronegative of the reactive nonmetals, such as oxygen and fluorine are characterized by stronger nonmetallic properties and a tendency to form predominantly ionic compounds with metals. The noble gases are distinguished by their great reluctance to form compounds with other elements. The distinction between categories is not absolute. Boundary overlaps, including with the metalloids, occur as outlying elements in each category show, or begin to show, less distinct, hybrid-like or atypical properties. Although five times more elements are metals than nonmetals, two of the nonmetals hydrogen and helium make up over 99% of the observable universe, and one oxygen makes up close to half of the Earth's crust, oceans and atmosphere. Living organisms are composed almost entirely of nonmetals, and nonmetals form many more compounds than metals. Definition and applicable elements There is no rigorous definition of a nonmetal. Broadly, any element lacking a preponderance of metallic properties can be regarded as a nonmetal. The elements generally classified as nonmetals include one element in group 1, hydrogen, one in group 14, carbon, two in group 15, nitrogen and phosphorus, three in group 16, oxygen, sulfur and selenium, most of group 17, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine, and all of group 18, with the possible exception of oganesson. As there is no widely agreed definition of a nonmetal, elements in the periodic table vicinity of where the metals meet the nonmetals are inconsistently classified by different authors. Elements sometimes also classified as nonmetals are the metalloids boron B, silicon C, germanium J, arsenic as, antimony S, B, tellurium T, and astatine et. The nonmetal selenium C, is sometimes instead classified as a metalloid, particularly in environmental chemistry. Properties Nonmetals show more variability in their properties than do metals. These properties are largely determined by the interatomic bonding strengths and molecular structures of the nonmetals involved, both of which are subject to variation as the number of valence electrons in each nonmetal varies. Metals, in contrast, have more homogeneous structures and their properties are more easily reconciled. Physically, they largely exist as diatomic or monatomic gases, with the remainder having more substantial, open packed forms, unlike metals, which are nearly all solid and close packed. If solid, they have a submetallic appearance, with the exception of sulfur, and are mostly brittle, as opposed to metals, which are lustrous, and generally ductile or malleable, they usually have lower densities than metals, are mostly poorer conductors of heat and electricity, and tend to have significantly lower melting points and boiling points than those of metals. Chemically the nonmetals mostly have high ionization energies, high electron affinities nitrogen and the noble gases have negative electron affinities and high electronegativity values noting that, in general, the higher an element's ionization energy, electron affinity, and electronegativity, the more nonmetallic that element is. Nonmetals including, to a limited extent, xenon and probably radon usually exist as anions or oxyanions in aqueous solution, they generally form ionic or covalent compounds when combined with metals unlike metals, which mostly form alloys with other metals, and have acidic oxides whereas the common oxides of nearly all metals are basic. 
Complicating the chemistry of the nonmetals is the first row anomaly seen particularly in hydrogen, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and fluorine, and the alternation effect seen in arsenic, selenium and bromine. The first row anomaly largely arises from the electron configurations of the elements concerned. Hydrogen is noted for the different ways it forms bonds. It most commonly forms covalent bonds. It can lose its single valence electron in aqueous solution, leaving behind a bare proton with tremendous polarizing power. This subsequently attaches itself to the lone electron pair of an oxygen atom in a water molecule, thereby forming the basis of acid-base chemistry. Under certain conditions a hydrogen atom in a molecule can form a second, weaker, bond with an atom or group of atoms in another molecule. Such bonding helps give snowflakes their hexagonal symmetry, binds DNA into a double helix, shapes the three-dimensional forms of proteins, and even raises water's boiling point high enough to make a decent cup of tea. From boron to neon, since the 2p subshell has no inner analog and experiences no electron repulsion effects it consequently has a relatively small radius, unlike the 3p, 4p and 5p subshells of heavier elements, a similar effect is seen in the 1s elements, hydrogen and helium. Ionization energies and electronegativities among these elements are consequently higher than would otherwise be expected, having regard to periodic trends. The small atomic radii of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen facilitates the formation of triple or double bonds. The larger atomic radii, which enable higher coordination numbers, and lower electronegativities, which better tolerate higher positive charges, of the heavier group 15 to 18 nonmetals means they are able to exhibit balances other than the lowest for their group, that is, 3, 2, 1, or 0, for example in phosphorus pentachloride, SF6, IF7, and xenon D fluoride. Period 4 elements immediately after the first row of the transition metals, such as selenium and bromine, have unusually small atomic radii because the 3d electrons are not effective at shielding the increased nuclear charge, and smaller atomic size correlates with higher electronegativity. Categories Immediately to the left of most nonmetals on the periodic table are metalloids such as boron, silicon, and germanium, which generally behave chemically like nonmetals, and are included here for comparative purposes. In this sense they can be regarded as the most metallic of nonmetallic elements. Based on shared attributes, the nonmetals can be divided into the two categories of reactive nonmetal, and noble gas. The metalloids and the two nonmetal categories then span a progression in chemical nature from weakly nonmetallic, to moderately nonmetallic, to strongly nonmetallic oxygen and the four nonmetallic halogens, to almost inert. Analogous categories occur among the metals in the form of the weakly metallic, the post-transition metals, the moderately metallic, most of the transition metals, the strongly metallic, the alkali metal and alkaline earth metals, and the lanthanides and actinides, and the relatively inert, the noble transition metals. As with categorization schemes generally, there is some variation and overlapping of properties within and across each category. One or more of the metalloids are sometimes classified as nonmetals. Among the reactive nonmetals, carbon, phosphorus, selenium, and iodine, which border the metalloids, show some metallic character, as does hydrogen. Among the noble gases, radon is the most metallic and begins to show some cationic behavior, which is unusual for a nonmetal. Metalloid The seven metalloids are boron B, silicon C, germanium J, arsenic as, antimony S, B, tellurium T, and astatine et. On a standard periodic table, they occupy a diagonal area in the p-block extending from boron at the upper left to astatine at lower right, along the dividing line between metals and nonmetals shown on some periodic tables. They are called metalloids mainly in light of their physical resemblance to metals. While they each have a metallic appearance, they are brittle and only fair conductors of electricity. Boron, silicon, germanium, tellurium are semiconductors. Arsenic and antimony have the electronic band structures of semimetals although both have less stable semiconducting allotropes. Astatine has been predicted to have a metallic crystalline structure. Chemically the metalloids generally behave like weak nonmetals. 
They have moderate ionization energies, low to high electron affinities, moderate electronegativity values, are poor to moderately strong oxidizing agents, and demonstrate a tendency to form alloys with metals. Reactive nonmetal The reactive nonmetals have a diverse range of individual physical and chemical properties. In periodic table terms they largely occupy a position between the weakly nonmetallic metalloids to the left and the noble gases to the right. Physically, five are solids, one is a liquid, bromine, and five are gases. Of the solids, carbon, selenium, and iodine are metallic looking, whereas sulfur has a pale yellow appearance. Ordinary white phosphorus has a yellowish white appearance, but the black allotrope, which is the most stable form of phosphorus, has a metallic looking appearance. Bromine is a reddish brown liquid. Of the gases, fluorine and chlorine are colored pale yellow, and yellowish green. Electrically, most are insulators, whereas carbon is a semi metal and black phosphorus, selenium, and iodine are semiconductors. Chemically, they tend to have moderate to high ionization energies, electron affinities, and electronegativity values, and be relatively strong oxidizing agents. Collectively, the highest values of these properties are found among oxygen and the nonmetallic halogens. Manifestations of this status include oxygen's major association with the ubiquitous processes of corrosion and combustion, and the intrinsically corrosive nature of the nonmetallic halogens. All five of these nonmetals exhibit a tendency to form predominantly ionic compounds with metals whereas the remaining nonmetals tend to form predominantly covalent compounds with metals. Noble gas Six nonmetals are categorized as noble gases, helium he, neon ne, argon R, krypton Kr, xenon Z, and the radioactive radon Rn. In periodic table terms they occupy the outermost right column. They are called noble gases in light of their characteristically very low chemical reactivity. They have very similar properties, all being colorless, odorless, and non-flammable. With their closed valence shells the noble gases have feeble interatomic forces of attraction resulting in very low melting and boiling points. That is why they are all gases under standard conditions, even those with atomic masses larger than many normally solid elements. Chemically, the noble gases have relatively high ionization energies, negative electron affinities, and relatively high electronegativities. Compounds of the noble gases number less than half a thousand, with most of these occurring via oxygen or fluorine combining with either krypton, xenon, or radon. The status of the period 7 congener of the noble gases Oganesson, Og, is not known It may or may not be a noble gas. It was originally predicted to be a noble gas but may instead be a fairly reactive solid with an anomalously low first ionization potential, and a positive electron affinity, due to relativistic effects. On the other hand, if relativistic effects peak in period 7 at element 112, Copernicium, Oganesson may turn out to be a noble gas after all, albeit more reactive than either xenon or radon. While Oganesson could be expected to be the most metallic of the group 18 elements, credible predictions on its status as either a metal or a nonmetal, or a metalloid, appear to be absent. Alternative categories the nonmetals are sometimes instead divided according to either 1 the relative homogeneity of the halogens, 2 physical form, 3 electronegativity, 4 molecular structure, or 5 the peculiar nature of hydrogen, and the relative homogeneity of the halogens. In scheme, 1, the halogens are in a category of their own, astatine is classed as a nonmetal, rather than a metalloid, and the remaining nonmetals are referred to as other nonmetals. If selenium is counted as a metalloid rather than an other nonmetal, the resulting set of less active nonmetals H, C, N, P, o, S, are sometimes instead referred to or categorized as organogens, CHONPS elements or biogens. Collectively these six nonmetals comprise the bulk of life on Earth. A rough estimate of the composition of the biosphere is C1450H3000 1450N15P1S1. In scheme 2, the nonmetals can simply be divided based on their physical forms at room temperature and pressure. 
The fluid nonmetals, bromine and the gaseous nonmetals, have the highest ionization energy and electronegativity values among the elements, with the exception of hydrogen, which tends to be anomalous in whichever category it is placed in. The solid nonmetals are collectively the most metallic of the nonmetallic elements, apart from the metalloids. In scheme 3, the nonmetals are divided based on a loose correlation between electronegativity and oxidizing power. Very electronegative nonmetals have electronegativity values over 2.8, electronegative nonmetals have values of 1.9 to 2.8. In scheme 4, the nonmetals are distinguished based on the molecular structures of their most thermodynamically stable forms in ambient conditions. Polyatomic nonmetals form structures or molecules in which each atom has two or three nearest neighbors Cx, P4, S8, Sex. Diatomic nonmetals form molecules in which each atom has one nearest neighbor H2, N2, O2, F2, Cl2, Bridge2, I2, and the monatomic noble gases exist as isolated atoms He, Ne, R, Kr, Z, Rn, with no fixed nearest neighbor. This gradual reduction in the number of nearest neighbors corresponds approximately to a reduction in metallic character. A similar progression is seen among the metals. Metallic bonding tends to involve close packed centrosymmetric structures with a high number of nearest neighbors. Post-transition metals and metalloids, sandwiched between the true metals and the nonmetals, tend to have more complex structures with an intermediate number of nearest neighbors. In scheme 5, hydrogen is placed by itself on account of it being so different from all other elements. The remaining nonmetals are divided into nonmetals, halogens, and noble gases, with the unnamed category being distinguished by including nonmetals with relatively strong interatomic bonding, and the metalloids being effectively treated as a third super category alongside metals and nonmetals. Comparison of properties Characteristic and other properties of metalloids, reactive nonmetals, and noble gases are summarized in the following table. Metalloids have been included in light of their generally nonmetallic chemistry. Physical properties are listed in loose order of ease of determination, chemical properties run from general to specific, and then to descriptive. Asterisk bulk astatine has been predicted to have a metallic face centered cubic structure, hydrogen can also form alloy like hydrides. Properties of nonmetals and metalloids by group. Abbreviations used in this section are R allred Rocco, CN coordination number, and MH Mohs hardness. Group 1 Hydrogen is a colorless, odorless, and comparatively unreactive diatomic gas with a density of 0.08988 times 3 g per cc and is about 14 times lighter than air. It condenses to a colorless liquid 252.879 degrees Celsius and freezes into an ice or snow-like solid at 259.16 degrees Celsius. The solid form has a hexagonal crystalline structure and is soft and easily crushed. Hydrogen is an insulator in all of its forms. It has a high ionization energy, 1312.0 kJ per mole, moderate electron affinity, 73 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity, 2.2. Hydrogen is a poor oxidizing agent, H2 2E 2H 2.25 volts at pH 0. Its chemistry, most of which is based around its tendency to acquire the electron configuration of the noble gas helium, is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form ionic hydrides with highly electropositive metals, and alloy-like hydrides with some transition metals. The common oxide of hydrogen H2O is a neutral oxide. Group 13 Boron is a lustrous, barely reactive solid with a density 2.34 g per cc cf, aluminium 2.70, and is hard MH and brittle. It melts at 2076 degrees Celsius cf, steel approximately 1370 degrees Celsius and boils at 3927 degrees Celsius. Boron has a complex rhombohedral crystalline structure CN5+. It is a semiconductor with a band gap of about 1.56 electron volts. 
Boron has a moderate ionization energy 800.6 kJ per mole, low electron affinity 27 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity 2.04. Being a metalloid, most of its chemistry is nonmetallic in nature. Boron is a poor oxidizing agent B12 plus 3 EBH3 equals minus 0.15 volts at pH 0. While it bonds covalently in nearly all of its compounds, it can form intermetallic compounds and alloys with transition metals of the composition MnB, if n greater than 2. The common oxide of boron is weakly acidic. Group 14 Carbon as graphite, its most thermodynamically stable form, is a lustrous and comparatively unreactive solid with a density of 2.267 g per cc and is soft MH0.5 and brittle. It has sublimes to vapor at 3642 C degree. Carbon has a hexagonal crystalline structure CN3. It is a semimetal in the direction of its planes, with an electrical conductivity exceeding that of some metals, and behaves as a semiconductor in the direction perpendicular to its planes. It has a high ionization energy, 1086.5 kJ per mole, moderate electron affinity, 122 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity, 2.55. Carbon is a poor oxidizing agent, C plus 4 E minus CH4 equals 0.13 volts at pH zero. Its chemistry is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form salt-like carbides with highly electropositive metals. The common oxide of carbon is a medium-strength acidic oxide. Silicon is a metallic-looking relatively unreactive solid with a density of 2.3290 g per cc, and is hard and brittle. It melts at 1,414 degrees Celsius (Cf. Steel approximately 1,370 degrees Celsius) and boils at 3,265 degrees Celsius. Silicon has a diamond cubic structure (Cn4). It is a semiconductor with a band gap of about 1.11 electron volts. Silicon has a moderate ionization energy, 786.5 kJ per mole, moderate electron affinity, 134 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity, 1.9. It is a poor oxidizing agent, C plus 4 EC4 equals minus 0.147 at pH 0. As a metalloid, the chemistry of silicon is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form alloys with metals such as iron and copper. The common oxide of silicon, silicon oxide is weakly acidic. Germanium is a shiny, mostly unreactive gray-white solid with a density of 5.323 g per cc about two-thirds that of iron, and is hard MH6 .0 and brittle. It melts at 938.25 degrees Celsius Cf. Silver 961.78 degrees Celsius and boils at 2833 degrees Celsius. Germanium has a diamond cubic structure CN4. It is a semiconductor with a band gap of about 0.67 electron volts. Germanium has a moderate ionization energy, 762 kJ per mole, moderate electron affinity, 119 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity, 2.01. It is a poor oxidizing agent J plus 4 E germanium hydride equals minus 0.294 at pH 0. As a metalloid the chemistry of germanium is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form alloys with metals such as aluminium and gold. Most alloys of germanium with metals lack metallic or semimetallic conductivity. The common oxide of germanium, germanium oxide is amphoteric. Group 15 Nitrogen is a colorless, odorless, and relatively inert diatomic gas with a density of 1.251 times 3 g per cc marginally heavier than air. It condenses to a colorless liquid at 195.795 degrees Celsius and freezes into an ice or snow-like solid 210.00 degrees Celsius. The solid form density 0.85 g per cc, cf, lithium 0.534 has a hexagonal crystalline structure and is soft and easily crushed. Nitrogen is an insulator in all of its forms. 
It has a high ionization energy, 1402.3 kJ per mole, low electron affinity, -6.75 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity, 3.04. The latter property manifests in the capacity of nitrogen to form usually strong hydrogen bonds, and its preference for forming complexes with metals having low electronegativities, small cationic radii, and often high charges plus three or more. Nitrogen is a poor oxidizing agent N2 plus 6 e minus 2 NH3. Minus 0.057 volts at pH 0. Only when it is in a positive oxidation state, that is, in combination with oxygen or fluorine, are its compounds good oxidizing agents, for example, 2NO3 N2. 1.5 Neptun. V Its chemistry is largely covalent in nature, anion formation is energetically unfavorable owing to strong inter electron repulsions associated with having three unpaired electrons in its outer valence shell, hence its negative electron affinity. The common oxide of nitrogen no is weakly acidic. Many compounds of nitrogen are less stable than diatomic nitrogen, so nitrogen atoms in compounds seek to recombine if possible and release energy and nitrogen gas in the process, which can be leveraged for explosive purposes. Phosphorus in its most thermodynamically stable black form, is a lustrous and comparatively unreactive solid with a density of 2. 69 grams per cc, and is soft MH2.0 and has a flaky comportment. It sublimes at 620 degrees Celsius. Black phosphorus has an orthorhombic crystalline structure, CN3. It is a semiconductor with a band gap of 0.3 electron volts. It has a high ionization energy, 1086.5 kJ per mole, moderate electron affinity, 72 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity, 2.19. In comparison to nitrogen, phosphorus usually forms weak hydrogen bonds, and prefers to form complexes with metals having high electronegativities, large cationic radii, and often low charges, usually plus 1 or plus 2. Phosphorus is a poor oxidizing agent. P4 plus 3E minus pH 3 equals minus 0.046 volts at pH 0 for the white form, minus 0.088 volts for the red. Its chemistry is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form salt-like phosphides with highly electropositive metals. Compared to nitrogen, electrons have more space on phosphorus, which lowers their mutual repulsion and results in anion formation requiring less energy. The common oxide of phosphorus P2O5, is a medium-strength acidic oxide. When assessing periodicity in the properties of the elements it needs to be borne in mind that the quoted properties of phosphorus tend to be those of its least stable white form rather than, as is the case with all other elements, the most stable form. White phosphorus is the most common, industrially important, and easily reproducible allotrope. For those reasons it is the standard state of the element. Paradoxically, it is also thermodynamically the least stable, as well as the most volatile and reactive form. It gradually changes to red phosphorus. This transformation is accelerated by light and heat, and samples of white phosphorus almost always contain some red phosphorus and, accordingly, appear yellow. For this reason, white phosphorus that is aged or otherwise impure is also called yellow phosphorus. When exposed to oxygen, white phosphorus glows in the dark with a very faint tinge of green and blue. It is highly flammable and pyrophoric self -igniting, upon contact with air. White phosphorus has a density of 1.823 g per cc, is soft MH .5, as wax, pliable and can be cut with a knife. It melts at 44.15 degrees Celsius and, if heated rapidly, boils at 280.5 degrees Celsius, it otherwise remains solid and transforms to violet phosphorus at 550 degrees Celsius. It has a body-centered cubic structure, analogous to that of manganese, with unit cell comprising 58 P4 molecules. It is an insulator with a band gap of about 3.7 electron volts. Arsenic is a gray, metallic-looking solid which is stable in dry air but develops a golden bronze patina in moist air, which blackens on further exposure. It has a density of 5.727 g per cc, and is brittle and moderately hard MH3.5, more than aluminium, less than iron. Arsenic sublimes at 615 degrees Celsius. 
It has a rhombohedral polyatomic crystalline structure CN3. Arsenic is a semimetal, with an electrical conductivity of around 3.9 times 104 SCM-1 and a band overlap of 0.5 electron volts. It has a moderate ionization energy, 947 kJ per mole, moderate electron affinity, 79 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity, 2.18. Arsenic is a poor oxidizing agent, as plus 3 E ash 3 equals minus 0.22 at pH 0. As a metalloid, its chemistry is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form brittle alloys with metals, and has an extensive organometallic chemistry. Most alloys of arsenic with metals lack metallic or semi-metallic conductivity. The common oxide of arsenic, as 2O3, is acidic but weakly amphoteric. Antimony is a silver-white solid with a blue tint and a brilliant luster. It is stable in air and moisture at room temperature. Antimony has a density of 6.697 g per cc, and is moderately hard MH3.0, about the same as copper. It has a rhombohedral crystalline structure, CN3. Antimony melts at 630.63 degrees Celsius and boils at 1635 degrees Celsius. It is a semimetal, with an electrical conductivity of around 3.1 times 104 SCM-1 and a band overlap of 0.16 electron volts. Antimony has a moderate ionization energy 834 kJ per mole, moderate electron affinity 101 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity 2.05. It is a poor oxidizing agent Sb plus 3E antimony 3 hydride equals minus 0.51 at pH 0. As a metalloid, its chemistry is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form alloys with one or more metals such as aluminium, iron, nickel, copper, zinc, tin, lead and bismuth, and has an extensive organometallic chemistry. Most alloys of antimony with metals have metallic or semimetallic conductivity. The common oxide of antimony, antimony oxide is amphoteric. Group 16 Oxygen is a colorless, odorless, and unpredictably reactive diatomic gas with a gaseous density of 1.429 times 3 g per cc marginally heavier than air. It is generally unreactive at room temperature. Thus, sodium metal will retain its metallic luster for days in the presence of absolutely dry air and can even be melted mp 97.82 degrees celsius in the presence of dry oxygen without igniting on the other hand oxygen can react with many inorganic and organic compounds either spontaneously or under the right conditions such as a flame or a spark or ultraviolet light it condenses to pale blue liquid minus 182.962 degrees Celsius and freezes into a light blue solid at minus 218.79 degrees Celsius. The solid form density 0.0763 grams per cc has a cubic crystalline structure and is soft and easily crushed. Oxygen is an insulator in all of its forms. It has a high ionization energy, 1313.9 kJ per mole, high electron affinity, 141 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity, 3.44. Oxygen is a strong oxidizing agent, O2 4E2H2O equals 1.23 volts at pH 0. Metal oxides are largely ionic in nature. Sulfur is a bright yellow moderately reactive solid. It has a density of 2.07 g per cc and is soft MH2.0 and brittle. It melts to a light yellow liquid 95.3 degrees Celsius and boils at 444.6 degrees Celsius. Sulfur has an abundance on earth one tenth that of oxygen. It has an orthorhombic polyatomic CN2 crystalline structure and is brittle. Sulfur is an insulator with a band gap of 2.6 electron volts, and a photoconductor meaning its electrical conductivity increases a million fold when illuminated. Sulfur has a moderate ionization energy 999.6 kJ per mole, moderate electron affinity 200 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity 2.58. It is a poor oxidizing agent S8 plus 2 E minus H2S equals 0.14 volts at pH 0. The chemistry of sulfur is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form ionic sulfides with highly electropositive metals. 
The common oxide of sulfur SO3 is strongly acidic. Selenium is a metallic-looking, moderately reactive solid with a density of 4.81 g per cc and is soft MH2.0 and brittle. It melts at 221 degrees Celsius to a black liquid and boils at 685 degrees Celsius to a dark yellow vapor. Selenium has a hexagonal polyatomic CN2 crystalline structure. It is a semiconductor with a band gap of 1.7 electron volts and a photoconductor meaning its electrical conductivity increases a million fold when illuminated. Selenium has a moderate ionization energy, 941.0 kJ per mole, high electron affinity, 195 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity, 2.55. It is a poor oxidizing agent say plus 2 e minus hydrogen selenide equals minus 0.082 volts at pH 0. The chemistry of selenium is largely covalent in nature, noting it can form ionic selenides with highly electropositive metals. The common oxide of selenium, selenium trioxide is strongly acidic. Tellurium is a silvery white, moderately reactive, shiny solid, that has a density of 6.24 g per cc and is soft and brittle. It is the softest of the commonly recognized metalloids. Tellurium reacts with boiling water, or when freshly precipitated even at 50 degrees Celsius, to give the dioxide and hydrogen, Te plus 2 H2O Te O2 plus 2 H2. It has a melting point of 450 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 988 degrees Celsius. Tellurium has a polyatomic CN2 hexagonal crystalline structure. It is a semiconductor with a band gap of 0.32 to 0.38 electron volts. Tellurium has a moderate ionization energy, 869.3 kJ per mole, high electron affinity, 190 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity, 2.1. It is a poor oxidizing agent, Te plus 2 e minus hydrogen telluride equals minus 0.45 volts at pH 0. The chemistry of tellurium is largely covalent in nature, noting it has an extensive organometallic chemistry and that many tellurides can be regarded as metallic alloys. The common oxide of tellurium is amphoteric. Group 17 Fluorine is an extremely toxic and reactive pale yellow diatomic gas that, with a gaseous density of 1.696 times 3 g per cc, is about 40% heavier than air. Its extreme reactivity is such that it was not isolated via electrolysis until 1886 and was not isolated chemically until 1986. Its occurrence in an uncombined state in nature was first reported in 2012, but is contentious. Fluorine condenses to a pale yellow liquid at minus 188.11 degrees Celsius and freezes into a colorless solid at minus 219.67 degrees Celsius. The solid form, density 1.7 grams per centimeter minus 3, has a cubic crystalline structure and is soft and easily crushed. Fluorine is an insulator in all of its forms. It has a high ionization energy, 1,681 kJ per mole, high electron affinity, 328 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity, 3.98. Fluorine is a powerful oxidizing agent, F2 plus 2E2HF equals 2.87 volts at pH 0. Even water, in the form of steam, will catch fire in an atmosphere of fluorine. Metal fluorides are generally ionic in nature. Chlorine is an irritating green-yellow diatomic gas that is extremely reactive, and has a gaseous density of 3.2 times 3 g per cc, about 2.5 times heavier than air. It condenses at 34.04 degrees Celsius to an amber-colored liquid and freezes at 101.5 degrees Celsius into a yellow crystalline solid. The solid form, density 1.9 g per centimeter minus 3, has an orthorhombic crystalline structure and is soft and easily crushed. Chlorine is an insulator in all of its forms. It has a high ionization energy, 1,251.2 kJ per mole, high electron affinity, 349 kJ per mole, higher than fluorine, and high electronegativity, 3.16. 
Chlorine is a strong oxidizing agent, Cl2 plus 2E2HCl equals 1.36 volts at pH 0. Metal chlorides are largely ionic in nature. The common oxide of chlorine, D chlorine heptoxide, is strongly acidic. Bromine is a deep brown diatomic liquid that is quite reactive, and has a liquid density of 3.1028 g per cc. It boils at 58.8 degrees Celsius and solidifies at 7.3 degrees Celsius to an orange crystalline solid density 4.05 g per centimeter minus 3. It is the only element, apart from mercury, known to be a liquid at room temperature. The solid form, like chlorine, has an orthorhombic crystalline structure and is soft and easily crushed. Bromine is an insulator in all of its forms. It has a high ionization energy, 1139.9 kJ per mole, high electron affinity, 324 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity, 2.96. Bromine is a strong oxidizing agent, bridge 2 plus 2 E2 HBr equals 1.07 volts at pH 0. Metal bromides are largely ionic in nature. The unstable common oxide of bromine, D-bromine pentoxide, is strongly acidic. Iodine, the rarest of the nonmetallic halogens, is a metallic-looking solid that is moderately reactive, and has a density of 4.933 g per cc. It melts at 113.7 degrees Celsius to a brown liquid and boils at 184.3 degrees Celsius to a violet-colored vapor. It has an orthorhombic crystalline structure with a flaky habit. Iodine is semiconductor in the direction of its planes, with a band gap of about 1.3 electron volts and a conductivity of 1.7 times 10-8 SCM-1 at room temperature. This is higher than selenium but lower than boron, the least electrically conducting of the recognized metalloids. Iodine is an insulator in the direction perpendicular to its planes. It has a high ionization energy, 1008. 4 kJ per mole, high electron affinity, 295 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity, 2.66. Iodine is a moderately strong oxidizing agent I2 plus 2E2I equals 0.53 volts at pH 0. Metal iodides are predominantly ionic in nature. The only stable oxide of iodine is strongly acidic. Astatine is expected to have properties intermediate between iodine, a nonmetal with incident metallic properties, and tenosine, which is predicted to be a metal. Astatine has not so far been synthesized in sufficient quantities to enable a determination of its bulk properties. A macro sized sample of astatine would vaporize itself due to radioactive heating. It is not known if such a phenomenon could be prevented with sufficient cooling. Many of the properties of astatine have nevertheless been predicted. It is expected to have a metallic appearance, a density of 6.35 plus or minus 0.15 g per cc, a melting point of 302 degrees Celsius, a boiling point of 337 degrees Celsius, and a face-centered cubic crystalline structure. It has a moderate ionization energy, 899.003 kJ per mole, and is expected to have a high electron affinity, 222 kJ per mole, and moderate electronegativity, 2.2. Astatine is a weak oxidizing agent at plus E at minus equals 0.3 volts at pH 0. Group 18. Helium has a density of 0.1785 10^-3 g per cc (cf), air 1.225 10^-3 g per cc, liquefies at -268.928 degrees Celsius and cannot be solidified at normal pressure. It has the lowest boiling point of all of the elements. Liquid helium exhibits superfluidity, superconductivity, and near zero viscosity. Its thermal conductivity is greater than that of any other known substance, more than 1,000 times that of copper. Helium can only be solidified at 272.20 degrees Celsius under a pressure of 2.5 MPa. It has a very high ionization energy, 2372.3 kJ per mole, low electron affinity, estimated at -50 kJ per mole, and very high electronegativity, 5.5R. No normal compounds of helium have so far been synthesized.
Neon has a density of 0.9002 times 10^-3 g per cc, liquefies at -245.95 degrees Celsius and solidifies at -248.45 degrees Celsius. It has the narrowest liquid range of any element and in liquid form has over 40 times the refrigerating capacity of liquid helium and 3 times that of liquid hydrogen. Neon has a very high ionization energy, 2080.7 kJ per mole, low electron affinity, estimated at -120 kJ per mole, and very high electronegativity, 4.84 R. It is the least reactive of the noble gases. No normal compounds of neon have so far been synthesized. Argon has a density of 1.784 times 3 g per cc, liquefies at -185.848 degrees Celsius and solidifies at -189.34 degrees Celsius. Although non-toxic, it is 38% denser than air and therefore considered a dangerous asphyxiant in closed areas. It is difficult to detect because like all the noble gases, it is colorless, odorless and tasteless. Argon has a high ionization energy, 1520.6 kJ per mole, low electron affinity, estimated at -96 kJ per mole, and high electronegativity, 3.2 R. One interstitial compound of argon, R1C6O, is a stable solid at room temperature. Krypton has a density of 3.749 times 3 g per cc, liquefies at -153.415 degrees Celsius and solidifies at -157.37 degrees Celsius. It has a high ionization energy, 1350.8 kJ per mole, low electron affinity, estimated at -60 kJ per mole and high electronegativity, 2.94 R. Krypton can be reacted with fluorine to form the difluoride, krypton D fluoride. The reaction of krypton D fluoride with B -otef5 3 produces an unstable compound, Kr -otef5 2, that contains a krypton oxygen bond. Xenon has a density of 5.894 times 10^-3 g per cc, liquefies at -161.4 degrees Celsius and solidifies at -165.051 degrees Celsius. It is non-toxic and belongs to a select group of substances that penetrate the blood-brain barrier, causing mild to full surgical anesthesia when inhaled in high concentrations with oxygen. Xenon has a high ionization energy 1170 4 kJ per mole, low electron affinity estimated at -80 kJ per mole and high electronegativity 2.4 R. It forms a relatively large number of compounds, mostly containing fluorine or oxygen. An unusual ion containing xenon is the tetraxenonigold 2 cation Ox2+4, which contains zeo bonds. This ion occurs in the compound OX42 and is remarkable in having direct chemical bonds between two notoriously unreactive atoms, xenon and gold, with xenon acting as a transition metal ligand. The compound D-xenon D-antimonide F11 contains a ZZ bond, the longest element element bond known, 308.71 pm equals 3.0871a. The most common oxide of xenon, xenon trioxide, is strongly acidic. Radon, which is radioactive, has a density of 9.73 times 10^-3 g per cc, liquefies at -61.7 degrees Celsius and solidifies at -71 degrees Celsius. It has a high ionization energy, 1037 kJ per mole, low electron affinity, estimated at -70 kJ per mole and moderate electronegativity, 2.06 R. The only confirmed compounds of radon, which is the rarest of the naturally occurring noble gases, are the difluoride radon difluoride, and trioxide, radon trioxide. It has been reported that radon is capable of forming a simple Rn2 plus cation in halogen fluoride solution, which is highly unusual behavior for a nonmetal, and a noble gas at that. Radon trioxide, radon trioxide is expected to be acidic. Oganesson, the heaviest element on the periodic table, has only recently been synthesized. Owing to its short half-life, its chemical properties have not yet been investigated. 
Due to the significant relativistic destabilization of the 7 p3 halves orbitals, it is expected to be significantly reactive and behave more similarly to the group 14 elements, as it effectively has four valence electrons outside a pseudo-noble gas core. Its boiling point is expected to be about 80 plus or minus 30 degrees Celsius, so that it is probably neither noble nor a gas, as a liquid it is expected to have a density of about 5 grams per cc. It is expected to have a barely positive electron affinity estimated as 5 kJ per mole, and a moderate ionization energy of about 860 kJ per mole, which is rather low for a nonmetal and close to those of the metalloids tellurium and astatine. The oganesson fluorides OGF2 and OGF4 are expected to show significant ionic character, suggesting that oganesson may have at least incipient metallic properties. The oxides of oganesson, OGO and OGO2, are predicted to be amphoteric. Cross-cutting relationships Some pairs of nonmetals show additional relationships, beyond those associated with group membership. Hydrogen in group 1, and carbon in group 14, show some out-of-group similarities. These include proximity in ionization energies, electron affinities and electronegativity values, half-filled valence shells, and correlations between the chemistry of HH and CH bonds. Just as the metalloids cluster along a diagonal path, similar diagonal relationships occur between carbon and phosphorus, and between nitrogen and sulfur. Carbon and phosphorus represent an example of a less well-known diagonal relationship, especially in organic chemistry. Spectacular evidence of this relationship was provided in 1987 with the synthesis of a ferrocene-like molecule in which six of the carbon atoms were replaced by phosphorus atoms. Further illustrating the theme is the extraordinary Similarity between low coordinate phosphorus compounds and unsaturated carbon compounds, and related research into organophosphorus chemistry. Nitrogen and sulfur have a less well known diagonal relationship, manifested in like charge densities and electronegativities, the latter are identical if only the p electrons are counted, see Hins and Jaffe 1962, especially when sulfur is bonded to an electron withdrawing group. They are able to form an extensive series of seemingly interchangeable sulfur nitrides, the most famous of which, polymeric sulfur nitride, is metallic, and a superconductor below 0.26 K. The aromatic nature of the S3N22 plus ion, in particular, serves as an exemplar of the similarity of electronic energies between the two nonmetals. Fluorine and oxygen share the ability to often bring out the highest oxidation states among the elements. Chlorination reactions have many similarities to oxidation reactions. They tend not to be limited to thermodynamic equilibrium and often go to complete chlorination. The reactions are often highly exothermic. Chlorine, like oxygen, forms flammable mixtures with organic compounds. The chemistry of iodine in its oxidation states of plus 1, plus 3, plus 5, and plus 7 is analogous to that of xenon in an immediately higher oxidation state. Allotropes Many nonmetals have less stable allotropes, with either nonmetallic or metallic properties. Graphite, the standard state of carbon, has a lustrous appearance and is a fairly good electrical conductor. The diamond allotrope of carbon is clearly nonmetallic, however, being translucent and having a relatively poor electrical conductivity. Carbon is also known in several other allotropic forms, including semiconducting Buckminster fullerene C60. Nitrogen can form gaseous tetranitrogen N4, an unstable polyatomic molecule with a lifetime of about 1 microsecond. Oxygen is a diatomic molecule in its standard state. It also exists as ozone O3, an unstable nonmetallic allotrope with a half-life of around half an hour. Phosphorus, uniquely, exists in several allotropic forms that are more stable than that of its standard state as white phosphorus P4. The red and black allotropes are probably the best known, both are semiconductors. Phosphorus is also known as diphosphorus P2, an unstable diatomic allotrope. Sulfur has more allotropes than any other element. All of these, except plastic sulfur, a metastable ductile mixture of allotropes, have nonmetallic properties. Selenium has several nonmetallic allotropes, all of which are much less electrically conducting than its standard state of gray. Metallic 
Selenium. Iodine is also known in a semiconducting amorphous form. Under sufficiently high pressures, just over half of the nonmetals, starting with phosphorus at 1.7 GPa, have been observed to form metallic allotropes. Most metalloids, like the less electronegative nonmetals, form allotropes. Boron is known in several crystalline and amorphous forms. The discovery of a quasi-spherical allotropic molecule borosphorine B40, was announced in July 2014. Silicon was most recently known only in its crystalline and amorphous forms. Silicene, a two-dimensional allotrope of silicon, with a hexagonal honeycomb structure similar to that of graphene, was observed in 2010. The synthesis of an orthorhombic allotrope C24, was subsequently reported in 2014. At pressure of approximately 10 to 11 GPa, germanium transforms to a metallic phase with the same tetragonal structure as tin, when decompressed, and depending on the speed of pressure release, metallic germanium forms a series of allotropes that are metastable at ambient condition. Germanium also forms a graphene analog, germanine. Arsenic and antimony form several well-known allotropes yellow, gray, and black. Tellurium is known only in its crystalline and amorphous forms. Astatine is not known to have any allotropes. Abundance and extraction Hydrogen and helium are estimated to make up approximately 99% of all ordinary matter in the universe. Less than 5% of the universe is believed to be made of ordinary matter, represented by stars, planets, and living beings. The balance is made of dark energy and dark matter, both of which are poorly understood at present. Hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen constitute the great bulk of the Earth's atmosphere, oceans, crust, and biosphere. The remaining nonmetals have abundances of 0.5% or less. In comparison, 35% of the crust is made up of the metals sodium, magnesium, aluminium, potassium, and iron, together with a metalloid, silicon. All other metals and metalloids have abundances within the crust, oceans or biosphere of 0.2% or less, nonmetals, and metalloids, in their elemental forms are extracted from, brine, Cl, bridge, I, liquid air, N, O, Ne, R, Kr, Z, minerals, B, borate minerals, C, coal, diamond, graphite, F, fluorite, C, silica, P, phosphates, S, B, stibnite, tetrahedrite, I, in sodium iodate sodium hypoiodide and sodium iodide Ni, natural gas, H, He, S, and from ores, as processing byproducts, J, zinc ores, as copper and lead ores, Se, Te, copper ores, and Rn, uranium bearing ores. Astatine is produced in minute quantities by irradiating bismuth. Applications in common For prevalent and speciality applications of individual nonmetals see the main article for each element. Nonmetals do not have any universal or near universal applications. This is not the case with metals, most of which have structural uses, nor the metalloids, the typical uses of which extend to, for example, oxide glasses, alloying components, and semiconductors. Shared applications of different subsets of the nonmetals instead encompass their presence in, or specific uses in the fields of cryogenics and refrigerants, H, He, N, O, F and Ne, fertilizers, H, N, P, S, C, L, as a micronutrient, and Se, household accoutrements, H, primary constituent of water, He, party balloons, C, in pencils, as graphite, N, beer widgets, O, as peroxide, in detergents, F, as fluoride, in toothpaste, Ne, lighting, P, matches, S, garden and treatments, CL, bleach constituent, R, insulated windows, SE, glass, solar cells, bridge, as bromide, for purification of spa water, KR, energy saving fluorescent lamps, I, in antiseptic solutions, Z, in plasma TV display cells, while RN also sometimes occurs, but then as an unwanted, potentially hazardous indoor pollutant, industrial acids, C, N, F, P, S, and CL, inert air replacements, N, NE, S, in sulfur hexafluoride SF6. R, K, R, and Z, lasers and lighting, P, C, in carbon dioxide lasers, CO2, N, O, in a chemical oxygen iodine laser, F, in a hydrogen fluoride laser, HF, NE, S, in a sulfur lamp, R, K, R, and Z, in medicine and pharmaceuticals, P, O, F, C, L, bridge, I, Z, and R, N. The number of compounds formed by nonmetals is vast. The first nine places in a top 20 
Table of elements most frequently encountered in 8,427,300 compounds, as listed in the Chemical Abstract Service Register for July 1987, were occupied by nonmetals. Hydrogen, carbon, oxygen and nitrogen were found in the majority greater than 64% of compounds. Silicon, a metalloid, was in 10th place. The highest rated metal, with an occurrence frequency of 2.3%, was iron, in 11th place. Discovery Antiquity, C, S, S, B Carbon, sulfur, and antimony were known in antiquity. The earliest known use of charcoal dates to around 3750 BCE. The Egyptians and Sumerians employed it for the reduction of copper, zinc, and tin ores in the manufacture of bronze. Diamonds were probably known from as early as 2500 BCE. The first true chemical analyses were made in the 18th century. Lavoisier recognized carbon as an element in 1789. Sulfur usage dates from before 2500 BCE, it was recognized as an element by Antoine Lavoisier in 1777. Antimony usage was concurrent with that of sulfur. The Louvre holds a 5,000 year old vase made of almost pure antimony. 13th century, as Albertus Magnus Albert the Great, 1193 is believed to have been the first to isolate the element from a compound in 1250, by heating soap together with arsenic trisulfide. If so, it was the first element to be chemically discovered. 17th century, p. Phosphorus was prepared from urine, by Hennig Brand, in 1669. 18th century, H. O. N. T. C. L. Hydrogen, Cavendish, in 1766, was the first to distinguish hydrogen from other gases, although Paracelsus around 1500, Robert Boyle, 1670, and Joseph Priestley, had observed its production by reacting strong acids with metals. Lavoisier named it in 1793. Oxygen. Carl Wilhelm Scheele obtained oxygen by heating mercuric oxide and nitrates in 1771, but did not publish his findings until 1777. Priestley also prepared this new air by 1774, but only Lavoisier recognized it as a true element. He named it in 1777. Nitrogen. Rutherford discovered nitrogen while he was studying at the University of Edinburgh. He showed that the air in which animals breathed, after removal of exhaled carbon dioxide, was no longer able to burn a candle. Scheele, Henry Cavendish, and Priestley also studied this element at about the same time. Lavoisier named it in 1775 or 1776. Tellurium, in 1783. Franz Joseph Müller von Reichenstein, who was then serving as the Austrian chief inspector of mines in Transylvania, concluded that a new element was present in a gold ore from the mines in Zalatna, near today's city of Alba Iulia, Romania. In 1789, a Hungarian scientist, Paul Katibel, discovered the element independently in an ore from Deutsch Pilsen that had been regarded as argentiferous molybdenite, but later he gave the credit to Müller. In 1798, it was named by Martin Heinrich Klaproth, who had earlier isolated it from the mineral calaverite. Chlorine, in 1774, Scheele obtained chlorine from hydrochloric acid but thought it was an oxide. Only in 1808 did Humphrey Davy recognize it as an element. Early 19th century, B. I. C. C. Bridge Boron was identified by Sir Humphrey Davy in 1808 but not isolated in a pure form until 1909, by the American chemist Ezekiel Weintraub. Iodine was discovered in 1811 by Courtois from the ashes of seaweed. Selenium, in 1817, when Berzelius and Johann Gottlieb Gann were working with lead they discovered a substance that was similar to tellurium. After more investigation Berzelius concluded that it was a new element, related to sulfur and tellurium. Because tellurium had been named for the Earth, Berzelius named the new element, selenium, after the Moon. Silicon, in 1823, Berzelius prepared amorphous silicon by reducing potassium fluorosilicate with molten potassium metal. Bromine, Ballard and Gamelin both discovered bromine in the autumn of 1825 and published their results in the following year. 
late 19th century, he, F., J., R., K. R., Ney, Z. Helium. In 1868, Janssen and Lockyer independently observed a yellow line in the solar spectrum that did not match that of any other element. In 1895, in each case at around the same time, Ramsey, Cleve, and Langlet independently observed helium trapped in cleavite. Fluorine. Andre Marie Ampère predicted an element analogous to chlorine obtainable from hydrofluoric acid, and between 1812 and 1886 many researchers tried to obtain it. Fluorine was eventually isolated in 1886 by Moisson. Germanium, in mid-1885, at a mine near Freiburg, Saxony, a new mineral was discovered and named argyrodite because of its silver content. The chemist Clemens Winkler analyzed this new mineral, which proved to be a combination of silver, sulfur, and a new element, germanium, which he was able to isolate in 1886. Argon, Lord Rayleigh and Ramsey discovered argon in 1894 by comparing the molecular weights of nitrogen prepared by liquefaction from air, and nitrogen prepared by chemical means. It was the first noble gas to be isolated. Krypton, neon, and xenon, in 1898, within a period of three weeks, Ramsey and Travers successively separated krypton, neon and xenon from liquid argon by exploiting differences in their boiling points. 20th century, Ho, R. N., et. In 1898, Dorn discovered a radioactive gas resulting from the radioactive decay of radium. Ramsey and Robert Whitelaw Gray subsequently isolated radon in 1910. Astatine was synthesized in 1940 by Dale R. Corson, Kenneth Ross Mackenzie, and Emilio Segre. They bombarded bismuth-209 with alpha particles in a cyclotron to produce, after emission of two neutrons, astatine-211. Notes References Data sources Unless otherwise stated, melting points, boiling points, densities, crystalline structures, ionization energies, electron affinities, and electronegativity values are from the CRC Handbook of Physics and Chemistry, and standard electrode potentials are from the 1989 compilation by Stephen Brach. Citations Bibliography Monographs Emsley J. 1971, The Inorganic Chemistry of the Non-Metals, Methuen Educational, London, ISBN 0423861204 Johnson R.C. 1966, Introductory Descriptive Chemistry, Selected Non-Metals, Their Properties, and Behavior, Wa Benjamin, New York Jolly W.L. 1966, The Chemistry of the Non-Metals, Prentice Hall, Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey Powell P. and Tim's Place 1970 the Chemistry of the Non-Metals, Chapman and Hall, London, ISBN 0470695706 Sherwin E. and Weston G. J. 1966, Chemistry of the Non-Metallic Elements, Pergamon Press, Oxford Studle R. 1977, Chemistry of the Non-Metals, with an Introduction to Atomic Structure and Chemical Bonding, English edition by F. C. Nockett and J. J. Zuckerman, Berlin, Walter de Gruyter, ISBN 3110048800 25 external links media related to nonmetals at Wikimedia Commons.